gentlemen, our first bout of the evening. To be fought over three three minute rounds and amateur mixed martial arts rules in the flyweight division. So introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, tonight making a ring cage debut, representing Jim One. Please welcome Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Fight Star Championship. Coming to you here from Hounslow in Greater London. Chris Hookster with you alongside Colin Howells. Kicking it off tonight in the women's division here. Flyweights. We'll see Aphrodite Pazzolini from Jim 01 taking on Amber Justin. Aphrodite with some boxing experience making the MMA debut. Amber looking for her first win. And he's two, wasting no time at all. You can see the, the clinch that Aphrodite has there. She's really hanging on, throwing everything into those knees. Really powerful knees now. I'm working her from the plum. Clean work here from Aphrodite. Now looking to maybe get a hold of the body lock. Colin looks to me like some nice knees coming back, but so far maybe the strength advantage for Aphrodite. Yeah, at the moment Amber's um, looking for that wizard to try and gain a bit of control, maybe to reverse the position, change Aph Aphrodite onto the cage. Good clean break here in response from Amber Justin. Justin with one fight experience, though, looking for her win on the record tonight. Yeah, and I believe Aphrodite's first match. Nice hook kick from Amber. Yeah, two fights in boxing here. The 21-year-old from Jim 01. Loves to stand, sees the boxing experience as a bit of a strength, potentially in this matchup, but so far she's showing a little bit more than just the hands. Yeah, definitely. She really favored that clinch early on. Let's see if she goes back to it. Nice alternating punches, swapping up the stance, straight right back to kind of where we saw the beginning of the fight. Yeah, I think Aphrodite's going to want to really try and control this uh, up against the cage position. They both look so pumped coming out here to make the walk to kick off what is quite a big card here for Fight Star 19 tonight. If you just joined us here on MMA TV, thank you so much for tuning in. Plenty of action to come. And just Aphrodite racking up the points here. This deep into the round, what do you got to do if you're Amber? Clearly you're getting locked up against the wire. That's not the way you wanted it for round one. Yeah, no, no, definitely not. I mean, the one, th one thing to be said is that the shots that were coming in earlier were a lot cleaner from Aphrodite. At the moment, she is, she's throwing a lot. I mean, the output is there, but not everyone is getting through. I just, I just wonder if, um, you know, that's first fight nerves and, you know, working off that adrenaline. But she's definitely in control. Interesting to see her go from that clinch control then below the waist here. Smart tactic? Yeah, I think so. I mean, she might go for a low single, try and rip the leg away. Uh, Amber's doing a good job at the moment, though, of, of stopping that from happening by getting under the left arm. Possibly looking for maybe a Kimura position from here. Yeah, it looks like Amber's doing a good job of countering that. Was ostensibly maybe a crotch lift. I couldn't quite tell with the Kimura trap. But the pressure so far from Aphrodite here, 10 second clapper. Worth noting we got three threes tonight by my read. Yeah. And a nice knee in response there from Amber will close out the round. One of the potential three here at Fight Star Championship 19.
two of three here. Aphrodite and Amber will continue. Aphrodite in the blue, Amber in the red. Back to the uh, familiar tactics that it looks like from Aphrodite as she boxes Amber up to the wire. Yeah, Aphrodite's doing a really good job of, of just coming forward. You know, she hasn't taken a back step yet. Um, so, you know, she's, she's controlling the, the pace of the fight at the moment, but Amber's doing a good job of defending. Nice short punches, it would seem. The coaching team, you can see the toy boy there in the corner, Elliot Hoy. The toy boy himself. I think would have wanted Amber to stay off the fence so far, doing a good job of stuff on the head, trying to find some respite here, but... Aphrodite just seems to have that golden ticket with the hands clasped. Yeah, she's going to have to dig deep and really just make one big rip. Uh, the arms are open now. She goes back up to the upper body. And good control here again from Aphrodite. And those knees, although maybe not fight ending, are opening up positions, Colin. And that, that it seems to be, is the mix. You go up, you go down. It's kind of like great boxing. You start to confuse your opponent, maybe tire them out. Yeah, I mean, if she can do this for the, for the whole three rounds, then, you know, she's done well. I mean, it is still scoring. They are scoring knees. Like you say, they may not get the finish the fight, but she's been really aggressive. She's coming forward and she's not stopping. Knees below here to the inside of the thigh. And Amber's keeping it competitive at this point, but you got to ask yourself, you don't necessarily need to go out there and fight the fighter. you got to fight what they're actually doing to you. And Amber just doesn't have that answer at this point. No, no. I mean, I don't know if um, how familiar she is with, uh, you know, having her back on the cage. Um, she should really look to try and change the position, reverse the position, um, and, and put Aphrodite on her back to the cage. Although, that being said, she's doing a good job of not taking too much damage. So um, she's doing what she can at the moment. I'm sure she'd like to get it back to the middle of the, of the cage. Here we go. Looks nice. to go for that inside trip. Down to the mat. Amber looking to get something going here. Amber Justin converts Aphrodite with the reshot, maybe getting the position she wanted from the beginning. Yeah, I think this is exactly where she wanted to be, up against the cage. She's got to try and make sure that Amber doesn't use her hips to get back to the cage and to stand up. It looks like Amber's opted for a closed guard instead. Well, Aphrodite Pantsalidu told us she wanted a good start to the MMA career. Saw boxing as a strength. Who would have thought she went to the grappling? Yeah, but she's got to be careful here. There's a potential triangle. Oh, she passes right through it. Double underpass. Maybe looking to get a cradle control here. Couldn't quite tell now. Very smart. Steps over in half. I mean, she did actually have the guard pass, but maybe she likes to sit here and get some ground and pound going. It's kind of an unsung position in MMA. Yeah, yeah, I think that's exactly what she's happy to do. So if you're Amber at this point, a couple of things. You go out there, you lock up, you realize this girl probably has a strength advantage it seems what does she need to do different going into the third i think she's really got to be careful um being put back on the cage again i think this is where where she may well be losing the fight is having Final round here at Fight Star 19. Cool. Looking to go airborne is Amber Justin. I think they know they're down on points at this point. You really need a big round, if not a finish. Yeah, Amber came flying out of there. Yeah, I, I think her coach has told her, look, you're two down. You're going to have to finish this fight, which should make for an interesting third round. So she needs really a massive round of 10-7 or a stoppage at this point. Safe to say we had 10-9, 10-9 the last two? I think so, yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, I think uh, Amber's corner definitely thinks so, the way she came out. <laughs> hey, I got to put you on the spot here, right? That's <laughs> why we bring people like you, the black belt of all things. <laughs> 
So you talked a little bit about one of the differences in strategy you would like to see from Amber Justin in this round was not giving up the center of the cage. That clearly went out the window about 10 seconds in. What does she need to do to work out of here? It's, yeah, see, I mean, she's got to free up her hips and, and edge out one way or the other. I mean, uh, she can't really edge out to her left because she's, the underhook is there. You know, it might be an idea if she can unlink the hands and then try and circle towards her right. Like that, yeah. Good job. And she actually used uh, the post on the face there, but couldn't pummel in, couldn't counter those double unders, but kind of caught Aphrodite going one way and went back the other. Oh, there we go. Switching up in the midst of the chaos, going for the one two one two is Amber Justin and Aphrodite on, it would seem, ice skates here. Yeah. I Was mean, she rocked? It looked like she got tagged. She, uh, I, I, the one thing I like about Aphrodite was her response. She came right back into Amber's face. The only thing I would say is that she had her hands down. It's almost like she wasn't too sure what attack she was going to do. She just knew she had to get there. Yeah. Um, so she's got to be a little bit careful with that. But I do like the response of just getting straight back in there and not, not letting her um, gain any momentum in the fight. And the key thing being uh, uh, if you are rattled, you still go back on instinct, right? Exactly right. Exactly right. So the seconds here, ticking. Third round, it would seem a very, very strong showing so far from Amber Justin from Pro My MMA. But will it be enough? Yeah, I, I mean, really, she's got to do what she did a moment ago and try and edge out. Um, and like you say, get the underhook, which she's done now, which is good. Yeah, there we go. Much better. Right on cue, you heard it from a man, Colin Howells, there. Amber doing a good job of prying her way out of this clinch position, but the frame so far, the persistence, the kind of in-your-face style that we're seeing from Aphrodite, I think has just been the game plan. And it's a different game plan on a different night, and that's MMA. Yeah, I mean, it's, you can see she's fighting with her heart, you know. She's just driving forward. Um, you know, let's see if it, it was enough. After three rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards. With a unanimous decision, your winner in the blue corner, Aphrodite Pasaladu. Your appreciation, please, for opponent as well. Give it up for Amber Justin. I said I like it.